Wow, look at the pink sky. It's beautiful. Come on. Look at the sunset. Let's go. Oh, 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 Gonna be a good day. Headed to breakfast right now. Meeting Bri to talk about business. Beautiful out today. We like to go out to breakfasts and lunches and dinners to talk about business. It's a good way to get us out of the office in a different environment. And we always typically have uh, really good, productive conversations. So. I'm excited for this. We used to come here like three times a week, but we got our business uh, a lot more under control and now we're talking about future, where we're going from here, you know, so it's cool. Look who we got. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. Right. I'll be half of this food. This is the spot. Yeah. Good. It is like really good. The biscuits. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Breakfast is done. Off to work. All right, so we just signed up for a fundraising uh, campaign on CrowdRise. And the point of this was to raise some money for a charity with this vlog. We uh, wanted a way to interact with the people that are watching our videos and also give back, which is always a goal. This is gonna be a good way for us to raise some money with you guys, interact with you guys, and then have a cool event to celebrate achieving uh, the goal of raising. What we've done is $10,000, and um, we hope we can raise that in a, a pretty, quick amount of time, we'll see. We're gonna throw a bocce ball tournament when we raise all the money and everyone can come and celebrate and have some fun. So uh, we're gonna be raising the money for the uh, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, just to start it off, we didn't have a big ties to any kind of charity right now as of yet, so we uh, decided to pick that one. I'm sure they could use the money and we're calling it bocce for boobies. So we'll play a little bocce ball for breast cancer. If you'd like to donate, we're gonna put a link at the bottom. Uh, we do not touch the money. It uh, doesn't come to us at all. It goes directly to CrowdRise and then uh, the charity receives 100% of the funds. So you won't be sending us any money. Uh, you'll just be sending it to CrowdRise who will then be uh, sending it to Breast Cancer uh, Research Foundation. So feel free to give and come out to the bocce tournament. We'll send up, we'll put up more information on that as we uh, get closer to the event. But uh, for now, uh, check out the website and feel free to donate. Bobby's phone, uh, apparently out product, products are shit because this is the third iPhone Bobby's gone through in what? Oh, you, it will be on your third in two weeks? Yeah. It's not going well. We're gonna go hit the gym, get a new phone, maybe do some longboarding. Should be a good afternoon. We're here at the mall. We'll spare you the footage because <laughs> we already showed this a couple times. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We're off to the gym. Gym time. I ate a little too much lunch, so we'll see if I can get into it. <laughs> Okay. So so workout. But it's over. We got it in. A little fun on the skateboards and we'll get out of here. Go home, see our girls. Brady's going to dinner tonight. And he already ate his one meal for the day, so it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I mean gonna be a battle. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe you'll have to have soup. Right. Soup and a salad. Right. We could do that. Yeah. Or a Coke. One of the two, you know? Or we just blow it out.
So we just uh, got a comment about our work life and how we spend a lot of time doing things besides working. But uh, you know, it took years and years for myself to find that balance. That, you know, it's really I think the most important thing to have really good balance in your life. I forget who it was, but I was taught in school that there was a guy who came up with the eight hours a day, um, you know, breakdown: eight hours for your family, eight hours of sleep, and eight hours for work. And it was such a really a perfect way to live your life. Uh, I try to do that. You know, we work odd hours, so it may not seem like we work as much. But it, you know, I worked so many jobs when I was young that I was just working myself uh, as hard as I could on Saturdays, really, really long days. My relationship started to suffer, so I found that if I could just break my day up into multiple different chunks of work. Um, I am a lot more happy and I'm able to do things during the day and look back and say, you know, I did have fun this week, I did cool things, and I also I managed to accomplish anything. I don't know if you had Yeah, any same story, you know, coming up after uh, school, trying to establish myself in the work world, you know, I, uh, I crushed myself working, you know, 15, 16 hour days, trying to make it, and uh, I think I learned a lot from that. Um, I think it was a good thing at the time, but definitely not sustainable. and. Uh, definitely not uh, recommended for a healthy lifestyle, you know. We, uh, I don't think it's even healthy as far as, you know, monetarily wise. I don't think you're going to make more money working 16 hours a day. You're going to bring yourself out and be exhausted all the time and not be able to think clearly and make good decisions. So uh, I think we've kind of learned from our mistakes and been able to establish a great uh, work-life balance. And it's truly been, a, you know, everything we've done up until now is a great learning experience, but I think we've got it dialed. Yeah. So if you're out there and you're trying to figure out how to find good balance and look for a little bit more free time, even if you're in a nine to five job, which I've had myself, you know, just go talk to your manager, which I've done in the past when I was, this was years and years ago, but I went and talked to my boss and told him, you know, this isn't working out for me to work like this. I gotta have longer lunch breaks. So I ended up taking three hour lunches and I got in an hour earlier and left uh, an hour and a half later. and. It you know allowed me to go to the beach. It allowed me to go to the gym. It allowed me to go do some something that was fun or take a drive or whatever it was, uh, so that I could not go crazy sitting in an office all day and feel like I'm burning my life away in a cubicle. So I encourage you guys to try and mix it up as well and stay focused on work at the same time. So that's it. It's a good day so far. I am headed to my hometown, Fresno, to see my family and celebrate my brother's baby shower. I think the men are just gonna go play golf and eat as much as possible, but uh, the ladies are gonna be having a baby shower, so it'll be cool to show everybody that a little bit on the vlog, and uh, I don't know, it'll be good to go home and uh, give my mama a hug, too. Fire going, Aladdin on. Bree's going out to dinner. And I'm trying to convince her to stay with my romantic setting. It's not working. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow.